I will show you how to solve kimono by Shai. First by traditional methods, and then in the way that Shai herself intended the puzzle to be solved. Click on the link below if you want to try it yourself. And with that, it's solving time. So first, I'm going to go to the traditional method. And what you'll see is that you have a 5, 5, 5. You can solve this for a 5. Uh, you have a 2 and a 2. So you can solve this for a 2. And then uh, there's really not much else you can solve right away. Uh, things to keep in mind is that this is a kind of restricted block is what you're supposed to focus on. And so I'm now going to show all the candidates because that's uh, how to best kind of show where you go from here. This 8, 9 is a key block right there. All right, but you have the 6, 8, 9 going on. And then I want to show you the um, something else you may have noticed. You have a 4, 5 coming down column 5 and across row 5. And so the 4s and the 5s, I'll show it like this, you'll notice are a hidden pair. So we'll, we'll clean that out. And you have a 4 or 5 hidden pair. This comes in handy. Now look at the 5s. Look at this interesting pattern we have with the 5s. Uh, what you'll notice is that's kind of like a two-string kite. You know, from, from this cell, you have strong link here, strong link there. And so you can eliminate the 5 from right there. And then also strong link down here and over there, you can eliminate a 5 from right here. But you still have two 5s right there. And this 5 is kind of a nuisance. If you could eliminate that 5, you could solve this for a 5, that for a 5, this for a 4, that for a 5. And then you'd be making all kinds of progress with this puzzle. All right, so how would you do that traditionally? Well, first you do what I just showed you, and you do the two-string kite. Um, but then after that, you're going to have to get into alternate inference chains. And so I will uh, pause the video. I'm going to set up the chain and get my crystal lights going, and we'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, so what I have here, these are the by-value cells, and then... All the strong links I have in my colors, uh, you've probably seen it before my AIC Type 1 and Type 2 tutorials. Uh, you know, recommend you check those out, but right now I just want to kind of follow along here. And so the first thing you can do is you're trying to clear off this row and you're trying to clear off this column of the nines. That will be the key to getting some progress in this puzzle. So you can see right here, we have an XY chain starting here and ending here. So 9 to the 8, 8 to the 6, 6 to the 7, 7 to the 9. And so any, you know, if this is a 9, that can't be a 9. If this is not a 9, this is a 9. So you can eliminate a 9 from any cell that sees both of these, which is a 9 right there. Okay? Great. Now, next thing I want to look at is an alternate inference chain type 2. This is the one where the ends in the same house. If they see each other, you can eliminate, you know, the start candidate from the end cell and the end candidate from the start cell. So start in the same cell here, 9 to the 8, or excuse me, I'll, I'll do right nomenclature. So it's strong to this 8, weak to this 8, strong to this 6. Weak, strong. Weak, strong, weak, strong. Weak to this 4, strong to that 4, right? So we start here and we end here. And so what it says, AIC type 2, I'll put a link to that tutorial. Now is, here. this is a 9, and this can't be a 9, or this is not a 9. If that's not a 9, this is a 4. Either way, can't be a 9. And if we had a 4 right here, we could eliminate that as well. So now we've cl cleared off all these 9s across row 1. So now this is a strongly linked 9. And so now let's look at the 9s. And the next thing you might see is you have a strongly linked 9 here, and then you have a 9 and in a group of nines right there. So this is actually a finned X-wing. All right, so there's your X-wing, here's your fins, right? So either the fin, one of the fins is true and these wouldn't be a nine in these two spots, or the fin is false, you have an X-wing, right? In the orange, and you wouldn't have, these two here couldn't be a nine. So either way, we can eliminate these nines right there. And the reason that's key is now we create another strong link with the nines. So we have a strong link to this nine and a strong link down to this nine right there. That's huge because now it connects to this five. 
And so the next thing you do, and you have to find, and this would take a lot of time, it took me a lot of time to find this, is a discontinuous loop. And we're using, we kind of paved the way towards it. And so you'd start in this cell again, but start with the eight this time. And you go strong to nine, weak, strong to this nine, weak to the five, strong, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. And so that's your discontinuous loop. And what's the key here is when you, this is the type where you have two strong links in the middle. And so since it's weak, strong, strong, what it means is this has to be a five. And why is that? The reason that's a five is what you're doing is you're basically going, you're taking the for discontinuous loop, you're, you're taking a chain and you're going both ways. So you're going like, hey, if this is not an eight, then this would be a five. And then you say, okay, well, if this is an eight and you go you know, the opposite way, it's still a five. Coming, coming, coming through the chain this way, you'd still have a five right here. Crazy. Either way, that is a five. And once you get this part, then you'll notice that you can get rid of all the Christmas lights and then we have what I kind of pointed out is, oh, hey, now I can solve these fives. I can solve these fours. And then the puzzle starts to fall apart. Um, one thing to keep in mind here is you solve the five, you solve the four. Let's look at the fours. And now you can solve this for a four, that for a four. You have two fours right there, which is actually now a one four. Uh, hidden pair, right? And this is a one for hidden pair. That's a two. That's the only two left in here. And then you really start making a whole bunch of progress with this puzzle. And you can go to the twos and you notice, you know, these are all in single twos. It's all the twos. And then uh, you can just kind of move your, your way through the puzzle here. And I'll let you solve the rest. But basically, you're going to be able to keep on solving and and get through the rest of the puzzle. It doesn't require any more advanced techniques past we, once we get past that part. So I'll leave that up to you if you want to keep on solving it the what I call the hard way. All right. Now, let's go back and let's solve it the way that Shai intended. So I'm going to restart this and I'm going to get rid of all the candidates. Okay, so how did Shai actually solve, intend to do this? Well, you probably notice you still need to solve the five and the two, right? And then this is still a key. Eight, nine is in that cell. And then understanding where the fives can be down here is also a key. And what you figure out is where else can eight and nine be across row one and row nine and column one? So if this was an eight, you see the eight nine prevents this spot from being an eight. It prevents this spot from being an eight. It prevents this spot from being. An eight. So the key is that you know this can't be an eight or nine. This can't be eight or nine. So no matter what this is, so if, let's say this is an eight then this can't be an eight, right? We know that can't be an eight, so an eight has to be along one of these three spots, all right? But we also know if you look down this way, that this was an eight, this can't be an eight, this can't be an eight, the eight also have to be in one of these three spots. It has to be in one of these three spots. So what we know is the eight would have to be in block seven and have to be down here in row nine and in column one and it have to be here but we know there's going to be one eight in here and so it has to be at the intersection right so this would have to be an eight and if you did it with the nines same issue nine can't be there nine can't be there eight or nine so what that ends up doing is the eight and nine are stuck in that spot okay once the eight and nine is stuck in that spot 
now a five can't be there. And if you remember, once the five can't be there, we actually have a nice little actual two string kite. And what Shai said is before, this is kind of like an almost kite, uh, but now you have your two string kite and you still see the four and the five still make this hidden pair. And where else can a, a five be? A five can be right there. And where else can a five be in this column? It can be right, right there, right? So that's where all the fives can be now. Uh, the ones that we care about. Well, you see here is this is a strong link with the fives. The only two here in column one. This is a strong link with the fives in row nine. And so a two string kite, either this is five, it's not a five. Uh, then this would have to be a five. And so then this can't be a five. And so you can solve that for a four, and you can solve that for a five. Once you solve this for a four, the only five left in this column is right there. The only five left in rows right there. And then this creates a five having to be right here. And now the same thing happens. Once you get the five right there, the puzzle starts to fall apart because uh, you can start solving for the other cells. One thing you'll notice is now you have this one, two, four and the one, two, four. So this creates, you know, a one, two, four, triple like that. And then what's the remaining cells here? You have a three, seven, eight, nine across the bottom. So three, seven, eight, nine, three, seven, eight, nine. Um, but what you'll see is that the sevens covered here. So the actually the sevens are a claiming pair right there. And so these can't even be seven. So now you have a three, eight, nine. Make a triple right there, which makes this a seven. Cool, huh? And then you have a six, seven here, six, seven here to fill out. So these two cells have to be six or seven. This is a one, two, four. That's your five, three, eight, nine. And now we can really continue on solving this puzzle and it just kind of starts to fall apart. You know, the only cells left up there are the eight and the nine. So then you can look up here, you know, you got a four and a four right here that creates a four. And so this makes this a four. And so once that's a four, that's a two, you got a one, four, uh, naked pair right there. And then let's look at where the twos can be. So now two has to be here in block eight and you come up and the two has to be here and you see now this has to be a two. And so you just start solving the twos and the puzzle just starts, uh, you know, melting on you, right? Now you already have a two right there. And so now you can kind of focus here on block two and maybe you look at the, uh, uh, what we can have up here. So you need, a, you have a one six naked pair right there now. And so what does that do for the eights? There's only one place left for an eight. It has to be right here. And then once you have that for an eight, this is going to be uh, seven, nine, you already have a nine right there. So that's a seven, that's a nine. And you see how it, the puzzle just starts falling apart, like I said. So seven, seven, uh, what are we missing here? We're missing six, seven, nine. So you have a six, nine, six, seven, nine, six, seven, nine. And what do you have here? You have a uh, six, eight. Uh, you have a one six here, but there's a six. So this is now a one. That's a six. That's a one. And then you have this for a one. So that's a four. That's a one. Now you got all the ones solved. And then you can come in here where we have a three, three, seven, nine. You got a nine coming down. So that has to be your nine. Got the three, seven. Put that in. And What's, what's in the middle here, right? We're missing the three, six, seven. You got the three and six across row four, so that's a seven. You got the three and a six. Three and a six, what's across here? Come across here, you need a three, six, seven. There's your six, there's your seven. So that's a three, that's six, that's three. Here's your seven right there. And then we can solve this for a seven. And we are kind of almost done here, right? What's remaining here? We're looking for a four and an eight. And then 
we saw that it's a nine, six, eight. This is a nine. This is a seven. Now that's an eight. That's a nine. Three, eight. Pair there. Cool. All right. What's left here? Missing the three. Solves that for seven. Seven. Awesome. And then we have our four missing right there and our nine right there. And then what we're missing here are six and our eight right there. Cool. And then what's across here? We got a six and a nine. So there's your nine. There's your six. All right. Kind of working our way up. We're missing now a two, which can be right there. And you got your eight right there. Get the three and the eight. And then our last two are your three and your six. Sudoku solve. If you want to see more solving like this, check out one of these other videos. Thank you, Shy, for letting me feature these puzzles on my channel. You are an amazing setter. Thank you so much for watching.